Hello to everyone. I'd like to talk to you about uh, the obsession, the vitalistic obsession of human beings in the last decades, or better, in the last centuries. I think that the obsession of the uh, Homo sapiens about life and his own existence has reached some aids unconceivable for the first millennia of human uh, population on this earth, on this planet. The fact that we are mm, alive does entitle, does entitle us to consider ourselves as privileged, a privileged being, beings in the universe. Life is something like a state of conscience that men and women have, have of their own of their own presence on earth. But this does mean that we are lucky to be alive or that we are, you know, uh, some kind of superior creatures to feel our own life on this planet. The fact that we are alive is something our irrelevant for the nature of the world universe that surrounds us, that surrounds us. I'm talking about vitalistic obsession because vitalism is that philosophy that celebrates life as it is, energies, and that kind of magic that all living creatures has have and that distinguishes them from all the rest of inorganic beings in the universe. We think that we just for the fact that we are alive, these are all us to think that we are superior, that we are destined, doomed to, the, to populate the whole universe with life. We are doomed to suffer and endure all the, uh, you know, all the bias and uh, these graces that life forces us to live during our existences. In fact, I think that life is not a value, is not a real thing, just because we think that it is real. Life is just an organic concretion of elements, of organic elements on a planet in the universe. We should appreciate not life as it is, but what we uh, feel during our existence. If we feel happy and you know, at ease with ourselves, with our bodies, with uh, the other men and women that surround us, then life can be acceptable. But in more civilized minds, life is just suffering, disgrace, pain, because it's such an unusual, unusual concept that we cannot ignore the fact 
that we are we feel we are alive we are alive just because we suffer it's sufferance uh, the reason why we feel alive and this is a natural this is something that must be avoided in a civilized nation we are not entitled to save dying beings from extinction uh, and ending resources from uh, disappearing we are not forced no nobody asks us to prolong to uh, I, I mean to make our lives last during generations forever there's something wrong in the way we face the concept of life and this causes more and more pain on the earth just consider that we are not born to suffer nobody orders nobody orders it nobody makes us uh, entitled to suffer to be forced to suffer this is life. Life is a non scientific concept we invented to justify our suffering state of existence. And I hope this prejudice will be dismantled, will be defeated as soon as possible in the next generations. Thank you for listening to me. See you in the next video.